themselves. I agree a hundred percent. If somebody doesn't want to date you for whatever stupid reason, move on. The relationship is not worth all the work that's going to be. All right. Never hop into a relationship thinking you can change somebody. Like in this case, change them from not wanting to be seen with a fat person to wanting to. Just there's other men. Trust me. Side of them. Hello, beautiful people. It's Mama Goob. So I was feeling overly ambitious this morning, and I wanted to circle back to Alexandra Rodriguez's first attempt at a reality show called Curvy Connections. I kind of wanted to watch episode two just to see if this is something I care about or I'm going to scrap this all together. So I don't know, I haven't seen this. I barely know anything about it other than the video I shot before. So I don't know if you're into it, let's see what she's got. I mean, there's nothing else better on the internet, is there? Episode two today, we're gonna start the day off with sitting down with Luis at a coffee shop and get his first impressions. I wanna know how was his first night meeting all the ladies for the first time? Who did he click with the most? Who does he wanna take on his first one-on-one -on -one date today? <sighs> Let's see how Luis is feeling Poor after Luis. his first night. And more importantly, who is Holy he taking shit. on that first one-on-one -on -one date today? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. And to think she's bigger now, but look at this. She still has the crotch problem here. I don't know. She just has too big of a torso. I don't know. She needs bigger sizes. The, these dresses aren't bad, but oof. Her and her, those, her and her, her and those rompers. Coffee shop. Can we get any more generic than coffee shop? Okay, you guys, we're here with Luis post night one. How are we feeling? God damn, like, she looks how big. How do you sleep? Are you exhausted? I'm still pretty tired, but I'm feeling good. Honestly, feeling good? yeah, I, I'm excited. I feel like I'm just so of course open he is. to like the whole experience. Three women whole, pining so over that, like, him. Whatever comes my way, it's like <sighs> you're open me. to it. Yeah. Do you think one on ones are going to be a little more like scary than like the group date last night? Scary. I don't know. So last night was a bit overwhelming, if I'm honest, yeah. and a little disorienting just because. Uh, so I'm not the most extroverted person, and jumping into a crowd of, you know, of women, loud women. No, I agree. Are, like, excited to get to know me. I was just. It was a little overwhelming, but. Right. I don't know if I would feel comfortable being somebody's prize or being the prize of something. I don't, I don't know. Uh, it's like he's Not a trophy. In a bad way. Did you feel any like initial sparks with anyone I think so, right yeah. away? So who are you first connecting with the most? Um, I think uh, Jules and I probably, I don't know. There was kind of like this calmness that like she kind of brought to the table. So you'd say she's your number one at the moment. I can't first remember who she is. Yeah, probably. Just first impression. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no commitments, just right. first impression. Yeah. So do you think you want to take her on one of your one-on-one -on -one dates today? I think so. Yeah? yeah? I think it'd be fun. Okay, exciting. Was there any girl who kind of surprised you when you sat down to talk to them one-on-one? -on -one? I was really surprised by uh fatima all the girls kind of wanted to be close not necessarily in my yeah, space you're a but prize just like closer if you will mm -hmm. but like the first thing she did when she pulled up was like move her chair back and then she like was leaning back in her chair body I don't know language if that's like a personal space thing or if that was just like a i don't know like if it was maybe just like subconscious body mm. you know like or nerves because she doesn't know you and now she's competing over you just felt like you know, with these shows, because I've never watched The Bachelor, um, do the women just decide, no, I don't like this guy? Does that ever happen? It should if it doesn't. It maybe a little not distant, everybody's for like, everybody. There, like, maybe she wanted a little bit of distance to, like, feel it out. Yeah. yeah. Which is cool. Good. I understand that. But, like, it just felt very opposite of everyone else. Right. If that makes sense. That's good. But then. also, like, her personality, or just, like, when she talks, she's very, like, 
forward. Direct. Yeah, direct. Yeah. That's a good way to say it. And then, but like in that moment, she was kind of a little bit distant. That was something that I kind of carried last night and yeah. just was thinking about. was just like, hmm, I wonder what that was about. You know, so. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you I'm think? She saw how your next one on one with her Never. will go. Yeah. Because we're doing things a little different on this type of dating show because this is a different type of dating show. He is going to be going on one on one dates with all of the girls just because you never know how the connections will be once you're on a one on one date versus just a small God. interaction. So for your first date, we're going to be. Could you imagine having your first date filmed? Uh, and woo, woo. Heading there soon for a painting class. Who do you want to take on your first oh, one on one date? I love those. Today? Actually, Probably Fatima. All right. Just because I want to see more about like what that interaction will be like. Good. I think she'd be a great pick for that date. Cool. So I'm going to let Fatima know and we'll head over to the first one on one date. Awesome. All right, let's go. I love painting classes. So, what's your social security like number? It's like all one big. <laughs> so you're from one big ad. Turkey or where? Russia. I moved to Russia when I was two years old, obviously with my family. Obviously. And then when I was 18, it's not so I, obvious anymore. Uh, I was able to come to the states for this like student exchange program. Mm -hmm. Then I went back home, and then was like, I just had a feeling that like, like I have to come back here. So you good? Moved yeah, I don't blame her. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's awesome. I'm not scared of change. I'm not scared of moving around. I'm not very big on, you know what I mean? Like staying in one place. Mm -hmm. That's why when people say this is my forever home, I'm like, how do you know that? Yeah. That's like, true. You She's open-minded. can't say that about a relationship. And I know that it's like super controversial because we're in a dating show. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, forever is a big word. How do you know that I'm not going to change in like 10, 20 years or yeah. what I'm going to want in 10, 20 years? You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So it's like you have to be very open of that and understanding so and i think that's on the flip side um young people today no a lot of people don't understand the power of commitment right so it's a decision right nothing in life is ever rainbows and sunshine and unicorn farts it's hard life is hard but you find your forever person and you make a commitment and you stick by that commitment through everything. Sickness and health. What are the vows? Like rich or poor? It's a decision. You can't live life. Well, shit. You can live life just floating around. But when you're 80 years old and you need care, who are you going to call? Okay. Think about that. That's why it's very hard. I mean, hard maybe she'll like have some kids through stuff, it's like, several yes, men. You want to be in a committed relationship, but you also like want to be you and explore <sighs> that as well. You know, mm -hmm. she's Where young. do you see yourself in five years? How, so first, how old are you? Remind 30. me. 30. Okay, cool. Oh, she's 30, 30 and July. she thinks okay, like cool. that? Holy so, yeah, shit. Where do you see yourself in five years? <sighs> um, It's really funny because that would have been a different question probably when I was in my mid-20s. Like I thought I wanted to get married and have children and that was just like... Uh -huh. Like I had to have it, and that's still definitely on the roster. I good would like to get married. Oh, thank and God! I know different people have different opinions on it. They're like, you know, if you love somebody, you know, and like I want to get married. I think in five years, I, I see myself like still like being happy. So to me, a marriage license is literally a contractual commitment. You know, you're promising to love this person no matter what. I really don't see the downfall of that. I think that's a good thing in life. If that makes sense, you know what I mean? I'm <sighs> in such a great place mentally. Yeah, I mean, I for me, I think my kids will be older by then. How old are your kids? They're 13. Oh, wow. So they'll be that's right. almost graduating high school. That's a tough age. So yeah. I think for me right now, like the most important thing in a relationship I'm looking for is consideration. Okay. Ooh. Somebody who mm. like is thinking about me as like, much as like I'm thinking about them. I get it. You know, like, yeah. but not like, 
not in like a cheesy way. Like I mean, like in like almost like a. So like when making decisions, when saying things. Well, just like in the little things, I think it's so hard. Like a lot of people, you know, at like are so afraid of like codependency, which I completely I, agree. Yeah. You know, Co it's like yep. it's it's difficult to it's like fine line. Yeah, it's difficult the... not to like fall into this pattern of that. Yeah. But at the same time, like people are so afraid of that that they like the pendulum swings so hard the other direction that almost like unhealthy. Well, the way I see it yeah. as a Smart. woman, you know, dating, I see a lot of times and I don't know if that's like a, a thing that is just like engraved with time. A lot of men are scared to like feel the feels yeah. and mm -hmm. feel the feelings well, and allow because themselves to be vulnerable. As a society, we kind of took that out of them. Uh, don't even get me started guys. Cause I'm kind of old fashioned when it comes to this. Um, you know, I don't know. I don't know why I just am. Maybe it's my age. And I think that's a problem a lot of times because they're just so afraid to be like, you know what? I really like you. Like, I don't want to Because games. women beat them I down. I think that that's actually a really big part of what... So I have been um, watching a lot of um, live court cases for family court. And let me tell you, most of the time, the women are just completely off the charts unhinged maniacs i mean and this is real stuff i don't know maniacs was the right word but they're a obviously <laughs> trying to get something from the guy money the kids power you name it it's disgusting like plus size date uh, like relationships that i've heard yeah. from a lot plus of size has nothing that, to like, do about it a lot this of is what pisses like me off plus size women but they are so worried about their image that like mm -hmm. they keep that stuff like no. behind closed doors dating somebody but you're afraid to be seen in public with them like like what kind of relationship is that as a fat person i've never dealt with that i've never dealt with the fact that somebody like doesn't want to see me in public because it's just i always looked at myself and i don't want to sound conceited i knew that <laughs> i have so much to offer is worried about what other people are going to think of me of him being yeah, with think, me then he shouldn't be with me just straight up i don't yeah. know i think most then, people like yes. I said it's hard for people to like see out i agree a hundred percent if somebody doesn't want to date you for whatever stupid reason move on the relationship is not worth all the work that's going to be all right never hop into a relationship thinking you can change somebody like in this case change them from not wanting to be seen with a fat person to wanting to just there's other men trust me side of themselves are people noticing me and are they noticing size difference between me and my, my partner, partner. Yeah. they, they no, are I totally it's human you. what i've noticed throughout the years is that thinner women have better chance on finding high profile men rather I than fat women and i'm like i what? know plenty of fat people who yeah. are in these successful relationships yeah sure. well both just the most honestly there's a lot more fat people than there were when i was this age i'm I just it's the truth emotionally and they're like well off they do good for themselves and then how do you know like what i'm looking for like what does that even mean high profile well i'm glad so, we did yeah money no, this is power really fun and i didn't feel intimidated at all <laughs> thank god yeah it was really fun and you know i hope i get to know you like you keep the yeah, picture these days. I mean, we're all hanging out at the house sure, or yeah. whatever so do we get to see the art come on especially um him he is an artist right R wasn't he an artist or he was like he made clothes or something i don't remember it's been a while this is cool yeah I want to see it. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Yeah, he's good. Like, I had fun. I don't know if that was, like, easy to see, you know, but I think we vibe. I'm very easy to talk to, but I think we just, you know, it was, like, really natural for us to talk to. So, like, good. I definitely saw that there was something. When I first saw him, I was like, well, I was like, he's tall, so that's good. <laughs> he has a beautiful smile, and he has, like, this, like, these like kind and very welcoming eyes when you first meet somebody you're like oh like i don't know how it's gonna be but i think what i like about him the most is he's very genuine like when he's like listening to you when he wasn't painting he you know <laughs> what i mean like he's looking straight into my eyes which is like a a, a yeah. green flag for agreed because like he's not like you know like 
yeah he's just like looking at me and he's very that's comfortable mm-hmm. and he's just like you can tell that he's like interested in the things that i say well at least that's how i felt he showed I think it my date went pretty well yeah, it was um i had a lot of fun that's for sure um i don't know i felt like not really in control of the date if that makes any sense like it felt like the date was happening to me and not like i was you know i like dating somebody or something and so and that's I don't because know you're that's on camera like from nervous like energy she would ask a question and then we would i would go to answer and then she would like interject her opinion on some of that stuff and so which is fine you know I, like i'm not that's her personality i don't want to be like that's you know it, it's just one of those things that's just like oh okay i would be more interested in getting to know her just to see if like that's just like a pattern throughout like or if that's a pattern or if it's might just be. nerves if that makes well sense. might be okay this is Fatima. Um, uh, I have gone on a date with Louise, um, and it was amazing. It was such a great date. It was like a painting oh boy. date, so I was like a little intimidated because I'm not artsy at all. Like I appreciate art, but I unfortunately can't create it. That's okay. Um, but like it was just so easy, and it was just like, like we had an amazing conversation. The vibes were going. Um, you know, it was just like very easy, and I had lots of fun with our instructor Jen, and we were just like cracking jokes. So I it's so, so sad. I'm excited. Also, like I was excited because I'm the first one. He doesn't um, feel the same way, honey. <laughs> that definitely gave me like a little confidence boost. But yeah, I'm so excited to see what the um, the group dates are going to be. But I'm just having so much fun. I don't. I don't ever want to leave this house. I'm having so much fun with the girls. Well, yeah, that was very yeah. as a top. Designed to be seen as a cute cam. I don't know if, uh, uh, hopefully I'm going to keep that clip in, but um, her stomach isn't much bigger now. Or her belly, her bump. She always had a bump. And I absolutely love <sighs> that there's an open gusset in the crotch area for easy access to the loo. The backside is also designed to help enhance your curves, not flatten them. Okay, as you saw, Luis has gone on his first one-on-one -on -one date with Fatima earlier and did a super fun painting date. Now he's heading on his second date of the day. He is going to go and see a Poor psychic Luis. and have a tarot reading. Oh my God. Is. She has seen psychics in the past and she is a believer. Although Luis is a little bit of a skeptic, I think it's going to be a really fun date. No. We're going to get a little insight on both so, of them as individuals. Yeah. So whatever you feel about tarot... They basically are reading you, like some people can do that, not really fortune telling, but they read your body language, tone of voice. There's a lot that goes into it. And a lot of these so-called psychics, they just do that naturally, right? So they're feeding you stuff and you're providing them with more food to feed you stuff. So that to me is a little personal because people tend to get a little... I don't know, too honest about themselves, at least for a first date. So this should be interesting. Also to see their compatibility as a couple. So let's head to our psychic date. So I'd like you guys to both choose which deck you are feeling drawn to. They, um, they're at a psychic in Providence, Rhode Island, just FYI. You can only do one. So try to agree on that. Oh, we have to. Mm -hmm. What was your initial thought? This one. Me too. All okay, right, great. You're lying. No, it was. Match made in heaven. I want to start with the fact that there is a really beautiful layout here. I see very good cards for the both of you. <laughs> what I want to share about what I get from the both of you, um, just kind of more spiritually, more from your energy. I'm going to start a little bit first with Jules. I feel like for you, these last about 12 to 16 months has been an extremely kind of transformative time in your life. You feel like you are at a place in life where you are <sighs> so ready generic for love. But I do feel that you still have um, a lot of fear. You are putting yourself out there to I mean, allow she can make the in. same reading your of me. Your natural reaction and instinct is going to be to take a step back. This has everything to do with your past, not from your present. I do believe in many aspects of love you've given a lot. So these last about three years, I just think that you kind of took a total shift where you've cleansed a lot <sighs> from certain things and from certain people, and you have been extremely self-focused and which isn't determined good. and motivated, and you only focused on yourself, which has been extremely empowering. But now that it's time for you to actually receive this level of love, um, deep down you're afraid of commitment. 
Luis is afraid of commitment in a very different way. I mm. feel like you have this fear up at the same time, mm. but some of it has to do with being hurt or being disappointed. But mm. I believe majority of it has to do with the fact that you don't always believe that you can be who you need to be for someone else. There's something in you that wants to give a hundred percent but I do feel like there's been a lot of things in your past that have made you feel very beat down. And you are just you in the time where you are learning to kind it's of build two back teenage your or one teenage kid. To see your worth, to see your value, and to see what you bring to the table. So your fear of commitment, it's gonna be in a little bit of a different way. Kind of like you're challenging yourself. You two mirror each other a lot because you're very much alike and you've been through a lot of the same things, mm. but at the same time, you're like night and day. <laughs> I view Jules as someone who's very stubborn, who's very opinionated, who speaks her mind, who's very strong-willed, who's very stubborn-minded in that way where nothing can easily influence her. And you, I view as a person who can be very laid back, who can be very chill, very passive. You're strong-minded in a way where you see the positive side of things more than you will the negative. But I do believe that's a really great balance because I feel like she has a lot of what you lack and that you have a lot of what she lacks. You so complete this is me. something that I truly feel has a lot, a lot of potential. But I a feel lot, a lot. That's just a lot. Kind of a lot, a ups lot. And down. There is a strong connection, there is a pull, there is something there, and I think that it's something very intriguing to the both of you. But I don't feel- Ser Seriously, guys, what else was she going to say? Like, literally, this is a dating show, she's on camera. What is she going to say? Oh no, run. <laughs> but to be easy, I feel like it's going to be a little bit of like a ride of a roller coaster in a lot of ways, but- as many options. I'm curious. I wonder what went into the screening process of these people. I mean, I wonder if Alex or her team did a good background check on any of these people. Like, what if they're not who they say they are? That's a possibility. This is a reality show, right? The goals will try to come in between. I feel something really good about this connection. I almost feel like it's going to be very spiritual in a sense. You may oh. see some things about one another that is different that you feel is not fully compatible but there is going to be chemistry is there anything regarding this connection or in general that you would like to ask me that you would like me to look into i think you had a lot of really good things to say of course sort of answered some things that I was curious about. Yeah, I think the main thing that I was, I actually was thinking is that we were very different, mm -hmm. but a lot of the things that we've talked about but the same. are very, very similar. So it's an interesting connection. I mean, I feel like all the things I would ask are like basic, like, are we going to end up being together? Is he going to pick me? Am I going to make it to the end? I think my biggest holdup is the distance and if like the connection would be strong enough to survive the distance. That's a great point. Yeah, no, that's an I excellent that you're point. I no. by Jules because she's very different than what you're I, I know like a lot of you, Amberlynn Reed, are into these long distance relationships, but just as an old person here, I don't see how that can last, especially if there's kind of a commitment. Somebody's got to move toward the other. And I can't remember if she has kids or not, but if she doesn't have kids, she needs to go with him because he has to be there for his kids. First and foremost, that is your number one priority. She's opposite of all that you know and of all that you have been with in your past. I feel like your connection is meant to be strong enough to overcome any obstacle. I mm -hmm. think something, I'm going to be very vulnerable and just say that I've had, I, I talked to Luis about this, but some issues with like past relationships and stuff. And so piggybacking on the distance thing, I could see myself potentially being a little jealous, having some trust issues. So I guess I'm kind of curious about that and how it would 
I don't yeah, know, it won't go last. Along with Luis and his personality and me I'm old fashioned, what can I things? say? You have always been very uh, attracted to the same types of men. <gasps> Shocking. Wow. He is going to show you something that you have never seen in that way before, and you're not going to really know how to respond and how to react to it which is why I said so much of your guys' past is going to come up in this present relationship, but you both are completely opposite of what you've had in the past and of what you've been through. Yeah. So okay. that's why there's so much healing within that still needs to be done, and there's still some healing with one another that you can both pour into each other to kind of both understand that this is not the past. I believe that you have been through a lot of verbal and a lot of emotional abuse in your past and i think the only thing Luis will ever do is lift you up and make you feel on top of the world oh yeah, okay so great like, so sign me think, up you know is this real is this too good to be true there has to be something <sighs> else there has to be something behind it yeah you're always but it's going to be his genuine feelings towards you so you both are going to i feel like in life i don't know if this is with everybody it's sometimes when things are going well you're waiting for the other shoe to drop right I don't know. It's maybe it's me, but yeah, I agree with that. She could she could make this psychic reading with me. Have to go all in if this is what you decide to do. So I wish you both the best of luck. Thank you. Just uh, left the card reading. What did you think? I liked it. Oh I thought look, it was super interesting. They're actually their body language I is driving. That she said exactly what we've already talked about. We're polar opposites. <laughs> But opposites can attract. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It was good reading. And I think it was, uh, I think okay. I learned some stuff. About it's not that opposites attract. It's that complementary um, personalities attract. It, it wouldn't work. That's opposite, right? What? That wouldn't work. It needs to be complementary, which, uh, listen, uh, like I said, there's a lot that went on in that psychic reading, and I, I just feel uncomfortable because personally, I wouldn't want to go that raw and real on my first date. About myself, but also about Jules, so I think it was worthwhile. I do too. Okay, so like, tell me everything about that date. That was good. Now let's see if he says the opposite. Yeah, it was a really great date. I, um, I mean, I knew that I was going to be vibing with with Jules. She has like this calming presence that really draws me in. And Good. The psychic reading was really interesting. She said a lot of things that were very, like she said a lot of things that were valid. Um, of course. Especially things that we've already talked about, um, things that have been said. And uh, she just like validated those things. I don't want to say if there are bad things. I just think that there are things, challenges, if that makes sense. And I guess the, the question that everybody I'm has challenges is like, is Jules worth the challenge? You know, I like the self work and like stuff like that. Cause I think that there is still a lot of stuff that like she's working with, working on, uh, or even just wants to work on, but like isn't currently. I've done so much self work in the last year and a half that when somebody says, oh, I need to do this, but doesn't actually put the effort in, yeah. it, it okay. to me is like, Agreed. It's a little off-putting, but mm -hmm. also, like, it gives me a great opportunity to try and encourage and challenge. No. You know, so don't like, do it. I think you're worth no, it. No, 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 no. You, you can't do that to somebody. You can't do that to yourself, really. It's like banging your head against a wall. No. The self-work. Show me that you think that. I think for me, I want to see the commitment that she shows to, like, her family, that she, she showed that to herself. So after the psychic reading, ah, I mic up, Alex. And went for a little walk. How was your walk? How it was, was it was good. Yeah, I mean, we talked a lot about what was going on during the psychic reading. A little bit about like all the work that I've done on myself, all the work that like she thinks that she needs to do on you know work on herself and yes. stuff like that. And so you know what? It was incredible. She needs to finish working on herself and getting to where she wants to be before she starts a relationship, especially a long distance relationship to hear that she acknowledges these things i think the i think the actions the action steps are the important things like the important next steps if you will she's a gorgeous woman she's a mom she really cares for her ah, family okay you know yeah that's not gonna work mm -mm. or somebody's pulling their kids and moving and that's uh, there's a lot to that guys you just it's not right to do that especially if there's like a father or a significant other in the picture so I don't know. That relationship's doomed. 
know, that's a double-edged sword in my opinion. You know, I sometimes um, moms put themselves on the back burner. I grew up with a single mom. Yeah, so you have I to. I have a heart mm -hmm. for, you know, have a heart for that kind of stuff. Of course. She seems to have like this peaceful energy that just like is very attractive. I feel like I'm having a little bit of like an internal struggle because I really like Luis. So he's really, really sweet. I think he is a big teddy bear. He has a gentle, sweet presence about him. He has such a big heart and he's just like ready to just love and commit. Mm -hmm. And it's like, that's what I want too, but it's almost like intimidating me. And it's bringing up my own insecurities. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm just like, <laughs> I really do like him. Like, we are totally vibing. I'm almost like, it's not even like about me. I'm like almost afraid I'm going to hurt him. And kind of like the tarot card reading was so interesting to me because she was so dead on. And she made a comment that when somebody like treats me good and likes me, I tend to pull away. And it's 100% true. Shock. And I shock self-sabotage. 100%. And I'm like not used to being treated good. And I feel like Luis is the kind of guy who would be such a good partner and so sweet and kind. <sighs> and that should be a deal, like a no brainer. Like for some reason that's like scaring me a little bit, but I'm excited to keep getting to know him. I just want to take things slow. Yeah, good. so when we were in the back seat, he did reach for my hand. Mm -hmm. I really do like him. I feel like I'm I'm starting to like him and fall for him. Okay, whatever you great. Want to call that. But it's also only been like a couple days, and I definitely get. And a she's sense in that competition with other people, ah. and I just am so scared. Like I don't want to like hurt him, and I don't want my flaws and insecurities to like hinder what I know I deserve and what I know he deserves. So one thing I liked about our conversations, we went for a little walk um, after the reading and had a really good conversation. And that's one of his like deal breakers is like, I've done so much work and therapy and I require that my partner is in therapy as well. Cause we all have stuff to work on. And I love that. And I am not in therapy, no. but I really should be. And it's almost like scary. Okay. Cause I think that he's such a good guy and he's done. I don't, I have, no. I don't like that. I don't agree that people should be in therapy their entire lives, okay? At some point, you have to trust yourself to make judgments. Yes, have therapists put you on the right track, but at some point, you need to figure out what you need to do, and that's it, and live with the consequences. That is a scary outlook on life. So much inner soul searching that he would bring out some healing that needs to happen from me, which is all good things, but it almost like scares me. <laughs> Why so I'm not going to date you unless you go to therapy and stay in therapy. Oh, that's bad. A healthy relationship would scare me. I don't know. <sighs> I've been by myself on autopilot for so long that I'm like, because you're a know. mom and I have don't kids. I know like how I feel. I probably need to drink a little less and do some therapy. <laughs> he has really cute lips. They're like very. Drink a little less? Holy shit. Perfectly shaped and sweet eyes. He's a handsome guy. And I do like him, but again, it's like, I almost get scared when I get like too close. So do I want to kiss him? Yeah, I probably by the end of the weekend would like to, but I don't know about right now. Good. Wow, he is tall. He's out of the shot. Aw, I did a kissy poo poo. <laughs> okay, so today, day two of Kirby Connection. She's really it pretty. Was my one on one with Luis. He chose me to do the psychic reading date. It was a really cool experience. The ah. psychic did tarot cards. So the, the all these dates are set up and he gets to choose what he wants to do with whom. Interesting. She was like spot on and of course it she was, was really fun. I am like it's so interesting because it's like going into this, I really was had no expe expectations, you know, didn't, I don't know. I've been single for years, but I just had no expectations. And Luis is somebody like nobody I've ever been with before, physically, emotionally. Oh, that's everything nice. about him and the tarot cards and the psychic totally was spot on with that. He's such a good guy. He has such a big heart. He's really special. And he's like opening up this part of me that it's like the looks and all of that. I'm not saying he's not attractive because I do find him attractive, but it's like, that's like the last thing on my mind right now. Good. I'm just Should so be. attracted to his soul and who he is. And 
when we talked, okay. he gazes into my eyes and has the most amazing eye contact and like the <sighs> sweetest eyes. And he's that just is a genuinely a plus. amazing, good person. We had a moment at dinner where I, you know, sort of broke down and started crying a little bit, talking about my mom who recently passed. <sighs> it's been really hard for me. And I don't know. This is too much up front. My arm and he got close to me. His eye contact was impeccable. He put his heel to the side. Just the kindest, sweetest energy. And it just like made me feel at home almost. But it's also like scary. Like it's almost like confusing. But not. The girls are whole vibe. I am the oldest one here. We've got like 23, 26, 29, and then your girl's 33 with two kids. And it's like, I don't totally fit in, but they're so sweet and like, just have like a, almost like a sorority vibe, which I just can't fully keep up with these yeah, young girls. Well, anyway. Uh, until they all stab you in the back because they have to by definition in the show. Okay. What an experience. What an experience. I'm just, I'm looking forward to building more friendships getting tighter with the girls and yeah really fine as well Louise go I don't want to hurt him and I want to make sure that my heart is in and it's only day two I need to stop putting all this pressure yes next time on curvy connection there was a little bit of a tip in the house last night. Tiffy tip. There were some questions asked, and I think it was just like, it came off kind of weird. Because it seems like you're a little jealous. It feels like you've been a little distant. It's right? Shocking. If I'm completely I'm just honest, shocked. it kind of felt, you know, like elevator talk as opposed to like somebody that you would be on a date with. Am I drawn to her? Because sure, there's a fucking I'm camera there. sure. All right. Well, that was that for that. Oh, Kachopi. I don't know about this, Alex. I've seen many comments that you want more curvy connection. The rest of the season will air both on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I understand the episodes are short, and overall, it is a short season. Again, this was a project done entirely by myself and my husband, not a professional network or team. It means so much to me that you all are loving this massive labor of love. We are so grateful for your support. Do you guys really believe that she did this? I don't, I don't, I'm sorry. It just, is it just me or do a lot of men have impossibly high standards while thinking that they are a bigger catch than they really are? I could say something, but I'm not. He low-key gives me pretentious vibes. There needs to be more men. I don't feel like all these girls should have to compete for his attention. A little healthy competition for the attention of women would be great. Then this is a reality show, honey. It's meant to go like that. Uh, it's not really healthy, but whatever. It's a show. Okay. I love the concept. But I have to be honest, I don't like the guy. <laughs> and I don't like that the ladies that the ladies are at his mercy to be chosen by him. He's not great looking and I feel they could do better. No, you know what? Be to me, I'm not attracted to that type. The beard alone is a no for Mama Goob, but I know lots of people who love men that type. So he's fine. Um, but I agree on the concept that it is pretty shitty that they'll have to, uh, compete. But anyways, it should be based on multiple guys and girls, not one thinking he's all that because really <laughs> he isn't. Ladies, you can do better. They are all truly beautiful. Being a plus size girl myself, it doesn't matter or it doesn't mean accepting second best. 175 million percent. Absolutely well said. <laughs> Is he even straight? Oh my goodness. He gives me a red flag. <laughs> oh, these comments are gold, guys. All right, I'm going to close with this because this is whole Mama Goob's whole MO here. In my humble opinion, I believe that someone who is asking to be first in anyone's life is a red flag. When you have children, the dynamic changes, but 
a love for a child and your husband is very different. Agreed. Even if it's your husband with your, like the two of you had the children together, either adopted or naturally, there is a different dynamic. When you bring a third party in, it's just different. A person should be allowed to be their own spirit, allowed to grow and change without the other person demanding they stay number one. Everyone is an individual. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that was it for the whole curvy connection. Um, part or, or episode two. I don't know if you guys are liking this or not. Um, I'm kind of going to post these, but not such like they're not going to get that much attention. I realize, but let me know if you want me to keep doing this. Cause I find this actually quite interesting and on a psychological level and just knowing what I know about Alex now, it's, just interesting to say the least. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching my video and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.